Right, I think that these videos might be some of my favorite to make. Mechanics trucks might not look like much from the outside, but they're always hiding something really cool. Let's take a look at the Cofidis mechanics truck. First impressions, loads of bikes, loads of wheels. However, quite like this, which is a custom Cofidis bike bag. So you've got Orbea, the bike brand, Cofidis Solution Credit. Should apologize for my French accent. It's made by Cycon, and I think it's probably a pretty good sign that you've made it in the world of cycling, or any world, when you get custom luggage. Something that is yet to happen to me. Now, bikes that are first on the rack are the team's Orbea Ordu time trial bikes. Now, Ordu in Basque, Orbea is a Basque brand, of course, means hour. And I think a time trial that's much longer than an hour is very hard. Well, a time trial is always very hard. So interesting things on these, you have the shorter Pro Logo saddles. So that allows, whoops, that's my head on disc wheel. That allows the rider to have the saddle further forward without infringing the UCI's rules on saddle setback, which is it can't be any closer than five centimeters behind the bottom bracket. Interesting use of grip tape. Now this, I reckon this must really hurt your hands, even though it is effective. So nearly all of the riders, as far as I can see, have it on the extensions, except for this guy here. And this person even has it over the thumbs, the shifters. Yeah, grip. You don't want your hands to slip in any cycling situation, but in a time trial on the extensions, it is probably especially painful if that happens. One tiny, one minor detail on the time trial bikes that I really like are the golf ball dimples on the quick release on the Vision time trial brakes, Vision Trimax time trial brakes. I think that's cool. It is attention to detail that makes the difference, for sure. Down at this end of the truck, we have got the spare road race frame. So a broken frame probably does happen, not, I wouldn't have thought in most races, but it's gonna happen race to race for a bunch of riders. So Jeffrey Soup actually has his own custom frame, so that's got his name on. So that, that's for him in case his frame breaks, but across the rest of it, they've just made sure they have the range of sizes that the team riders at each race ride. Nestled right at the back of the Cofidis Mechanics truck is a beachy support measuring jig. Why would they use that? Well, it's so that they can replicate a rider's position bike to bike with no issues. You might have actually experienced this. So if you've got, even with an identical frame and identical components, it's actually quite difficult to get the position millimeter perfect bike to bike. This allows the mechanics to do that. So it means that one race bike feels exactly like a spare bike for a rider, which is really important because even if something's a couple of millimeters out, that can actually be quite frustrating when you're used to spending hours and hours on the same bike in the same position. The most common mechanical for any cyclist, including the pros, is a puncture. So, no surprise to see. I mean, I, I'm not even gonna try and count. They've got, probably got about 100 Kenda SC tubulars back here. One of them here's got a valve extender on, ready for slightly deeper rims. None of these are actually pre-glued. Some teams do pre-glue their tubs so that it's really quick to change them over in the event of a puncture one evening, but Cofidis don't. But they've got plenty of spares. And they're all skin wall. I think skin wall's the way forward, or it looks cool. For pros and for the rest of us, one of the easiest ways to change the performance characteristics of your bike without switching the frame is by changing the wheels. So no surprise to see that Cofidis have got a ton of Vision wheels. They've got the Vision Metron 40s, which are the lowest profile, lightest ones. So for the lighter riders on most days and for most riders on climbing days, they've got the Vision Metron 55s. So they're the midsection. So for most riders on most days and somewhere, where is it? It's right here. They have got the Vision Metron 90s, so that's probably a front wheel on a time trial bike, but some of the stronger riders on really fast flat days may use a pair of them in the road stage. Really aero, much, much faster. Also, we have the time trial wheels. So we've got the Vision Metron tri-spoke for the front. I think they look cool. And we've got the Vision Metron discs as well. So rear wheels only, don't have disc wheel fronts. And listen to this. Think how cool that sounds when you're smashing it at 60k an hour. Very cool, I wouldn't know. Never went 60k an hour. We've seen a load of the really good stuff that's on display, but this is where some of the really, really cool little bits and pieces hides. In every mechanics truck, it's the cupboard at the front. Well, these aren't hiding, but spare cassettes stored on a spike, pretty cool. Now, found out how to unlock the cupboards to save embarrassment. Pull that, it's all right, that wasn't breakable. Pull that out, put it there, 
Let me pull this down. So, boîtier FSA jeu direction. So this, I think this has got something to do with steering. There it has. So we've got bottom brackets, got headset bits and pieces, dropouts, massive valve extender. What's this? I don't even know what that is. Put that back. All right. Patin de frein, chain repos man. Now I know what this means. I think it's brake pads, chains, and bar tape. I wasn't right. We've got brakes, we've got chains, brake pads, so that's the essential spares day to day. A load of power links too. Not power links, a load of quick links. I don't know what this means, so let's open it. Cleats, again, definitely one of the things that really does wear out in the Pro Cyclist kit and can kind of cause injury when they wear out too much and your knees floating around too much. So they've, they don't actually, they don't have any fixed cleats. They've only got red cleats, which give a lot of float, and gray cleats, which give medium float. And ever the pro touch, they've cut down the casing on the cleats so that they fit in. Finally, and it really is finally, because we are right at the end of this mechanics truck, got the chainring wall, chainring board. And in a three week tour, or even in a one week race, you're gonna come across a range of conditions that need different cassettes and different chain rings. So they are equipped, they've got 36, 41, it's quite an unusual size, you don't often hear that. 42, 44, and 46, so they're inners for the most part. 46 might be an inner at a race like Paris-Roubaix. 48, again, probably an inner for a really flat day. Now we're on to the bigger chain. He's got 53, 52, 51, not heard of that. 54s, 56s. You've got to be strong to push a 56. Well, that's about it for this mechanics truck tour. I love these things, and if you agree, give it a thumbs up, and why not share it with your friends too? If you'd like to see our full truck tour playlist, click there. To see more pro bikes, click down there. To subscribe, there's a GCN logo somewhere, and click there to visit our shop. We out.